Look at this pry bar. Look how long it is, and it weighs, I think it weighs about 25 pounds. It's a point here. Got this end down here. That's what, what he uses. I don't know, but it would be nice to have one in okay, case something, <laughs> <laughs> something happens. Well, I'm here in front of my lawnmower. And Daniel's going to put the belt on because they're going out of town for the weekend. They're going to the lake house, lake cabin, for Memorial Weekend, which is fine. I've got a bubble in my hair. That's what happens when you have pearls. So anyway, um, he just said something about he wants to put his forks under it. And I think he's thinking that it's my blades, but it's not my blades. He's already done my blades. It's my belt. And you don't need the forks for the belt. The belt's on, belt's on top. So I don't know. We're going to see. Here he comes. You don't need your fork. It's the belt, not the blades. Maybe I don't want to lay on the ground. Oh, you just want to bring it up enough for you? I don't like to have where I can just kind of get in there. Oh. Maybe I just want to like get in there right here instead of lay on the ground. Oh, okay. Don't describe getting in there again. All right. We got the belt on. And now they're going to look at the solenoid. He's telling me something about a starter button and bypassing. This is what I use now to start it with. This piece yeah. of wire. Now we're going to change out that solenoid button. We're having, we got the solenoid, new went on right there, but we can't get it back in the holes it came from. The, we can't get our arms in there. Daniel's making a new place. He's trying to find a new place to hang the solenoid. Here's the old one. There's the new one. You know it's got to be grounded to metal. Something completely different? Yeah, I think it's got moving. Alright, well, we'll see what he's doing in a minute, guys. I'm gonna help him. See? I'm not opposed to asking for help. I know that you just seen a little section of me going down to Daniel's to have him help me. Um,. Put the well he basically had to do it but I needed the um, solenoid he says that he got tired of replacing his solenoid so he put a starter switch on his uh, lawnmower so I'm gonna tell you what that solenoid was the hardest thing because the solenoid had two screws going down through the um, the bottom like where the battery sits and some other stuff right there. It's like a, like a plate, like a, a platform. It was really, really thick metal. And it was screwed to that. So it was real hard to get your hand under. Hush up, hush, hush, hush. Honey and Jensen. So anyway, back to this helper is coming because I ordered a water filter for my refrigerator and I got a half in it's like in but stuck it won't go all the way it won't come out so hold on gosh those dogs are horrible it's fine they're supposed to be good little barkers but not at the people that they see almost every day and they won't stop so now they're locked in their kennel and they're in trouble so anyway he's trying to fix it I shoved this water filter in on my refrigerator too in the wrong direction. I don't know what I did. Anyway, Buddy's Buddy's helping, trying to help me. I put it at an angle, he says. I didn't get it straight. 
<gasps> Praise God. All right, do you, do you see what I see in there? I put that little light down there. I had to lay on my belly. Did we twist them? Did you twist them? When you twist them. That's it. the way it is, Mom. Let me see. That's not how it looked when look. I looked in there. Let me look. Let me get in here. See it? Oh, yeah. And you're sure that's not how it looked earlier? It looks like it goes in with this arrow pointing towards you like that. Oh, my God. I thought that meant oh pull it open. God. I thought it meant pull that direction. Oh my gosh. I thought that meant pull to the right. I mean, toward the left. Some people are not mechanic mechanically inclined. Look, you don't have to have a door. happened on the car door <laughs> car door works perfectly fine i don't know what you're talking about. it just it just works good oh, he's going down on his belly all right he got to work on it i'm getting out of the way was telling me that if the solenoid goes out again that he will put me a starter switch on it so it will bypass the solenoid I guess we won't need that so we'll do that next time but I was able to get my front yard mowed and the rest of my backyard mode it was so thick from the water that sat on it for so long you know it took a long time for that water to go down anyway um I was going to go mow Tony's today, but I went and picked up groceries. My turn to cook Sunday. And I think, are y'all going out of town for Memorial Day, buddy? No. So, buddy will be here. Daniel and Lou will be gone. Tina will be gone. I don't know about Dustin and Jill, but buddy will be here. So, I'm making barbecue chicken sliders and roasted potatoes. And uh, so, I picked up, and I'm going to try my hand at a... An apple pie that doesn't require a top crust. I think that would be good. And I have a whole bunch of... Baby, just don't put the door back on. Because I think that white thing was, was, was up in there. It was up inside and opened and came out as the filter came out. I'm going to figure it out. Okay. Anyway, I have this bag of apple pies. Oh my gosh, apple pies. I have this bag of apples, Granny Smith, and um, Debbie sent them over. They got a couple of bags of potatoes. Me and Levi have been eating one bag of potatoes, but I bought two more bags of because these were getting soft. But I've been making us like a, cutting the corners on a baked potato. I'm doing, cutting them all up and then putting them in the microwave to soften them. And then still had cheese and salt and pepper and all that stuff on them. And he, he likes them that way. But I got two new bags of potatoes because I'm going to cut them up in quarters and just stick them in the oven and roast them. Anyway. Um, but yeah, so y'all can see now I have helpers. I don't, I'm not against asking for help. I asked for Daniel's help, now I asked for Buddy's help. And I had no idea I put that filter in. I thought I put it in right and I had it totally wrong. All right, I'm going to go and I'll see y'all later. Katie, I'm trying to do a video.